special guest this morning, James Bagwell, the girls' basketball coach at Crazy Horse, also the athletic director. James, thanks for taking a minute. Uh, thanks for having me. Coach, I, I wanted to visit with you a little bit about uh, Crazy Horse Athletics this year. Um, I saw some marked improvement from both the boys' and the girls' teams this year. Uh, what, what do you attribute that to? Um, um, a number of the hard, they're working, working hard, working hard during the off season. I think last off season, uh, during the summertime, uh, for basketball, I've seen a lot of kids. We did, took them to team camps and they played a lot. Seeing dramatic improvements there. And then football too, we had our camps and things like that, our summer camps. So, uh, we didn't see a lot of improvement. We saw some improvement in the high school football program, not in the win loss column, but, you know, some of the results, but our Middle school football program actually is doing pretty well, winning, you know, one more than they lost, so over 500, so yeah, we, all around, you know, we kind of getting better and moving up and those, those are big accomplishments, and, and along with that, one of the really cool things that happened up this year, up there this year was uh, Ben Chips went over 1,000 points, and tell me a little bit about that from a community perspective. That had to mean a lot to the folks up there. It did. It was so awesome. Uh, uh, we uh, we played against Laura Brew the night before. I believe he had like 30 points to get it. Um, Yamni wasn't going to let that happen. <laughs> uh, and uh, so then he, he closed the mark to about 13 points. And that, that Saturday, it was a weight game at uh, Takini. So I actually, we took a pep bus over. We had a lot of, there's probably more Wampley fans over there than it was Takini fans. Uh, but the Takini fans was great too, embracing that moment. Uh, you know, and from, from my knowledge, uh, this is my only my second year being AD, but from my knowledge, he was the first person that was recorded, recorded, you know, first person to to score over a thousand points. So, you know, that was just awesome, and it was a great feeling for our community. You could just feel it, you know, the everybody was proud of him. Yeah, uh, he's been a great athlete for Crazy Horse for years. For him to come to the senior, it's gonna be a little sad for us, uh, but yeah, it was a great accomplishment, a great feeling, great thing to be a part of for me. Coach, I, w- I wanted to ask you a little bit about uh, your background and career and, and how you ended up at Crazy Horse, a, a place that you tell me kind of that, that you actually love and, and being an athletic director is, is certainly your dream job up there. Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, I went, uh, I played junior college basketball. I went to junior college. I played uh, at United Tribes for a couple years. Then there was uh, Jay Claymore was the AD and, and head coach did. And uh, I played for him for two years. I graduated and I went uh, – had one year of eligibility remaining, so I went to University of Mary up the road. Okay. To NCAA Division II for one year, and uh, I was a member of that team there. And then I graduated, and then uh, I went to Standard Rock High School. That was a year before I came here, and I coached girls basketball there, and I worked there as a substitute teacher. And then Jay Claymore was the AD at Standard Rock School, so he was. So you know, it's crazy how that worked. I found out about the job yeah. here. He recommended me. Um, he, was, he knew our su- the superintendent here, Silas Blaine, at Crazy Horse. And I drove five hours in interview with him <laughs> about a month later. He called me. And I got the job, so I was very happy about that. So, and and you, yeah, that's you, kind of my, I'm originally from Detroit, Michigan. You you like it up there too? I mean, you know, um, you re- you're really embraced by the people up there and feel good about being in Crazy Horse. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Uh, yeah, it's a tight, it's a tight knit community. It's, it's small, um, you know, but you know, you go to the store. We have our store here and things like that. You see everyone. Uh, yeah. The school is kind of the kind of it for the community. It has always has a lot of things going on for the community. So everybody comes up and you know everybody. Um, you know, we do a lot of things together here. So it's a great feeling. It's a great feeling. Um, you know, as far as being AD, you know, my <laughs> I always had. I talk to my friends all the time. I always had these ideas like if you knew me and like you know we can do this and we can do that and you know here i'm able to do that have those ideas and then work towards it you know being be firsthand working towards it and putting things in the position for the kids to be successful so in that you know i'm just living a dream and having a good time doing it coach I, I wanted to ask you a little bit about like kind of putting crazy horse athletics on the map a little bit uh one of your gals recently participated in the in dale pine jr's all-star game over in uh, uh, over in um, Ulrich's, and and also just the track team. You guys had a track team that you sent over to L and I the other day, and you know it seems like there's a little more active participation from Crazy Horse. Yeah, yeah, it's it's been a great experience. Uh, you know, 
to participate in that volleyball game. And it was nice, you know, you had, you had teams like Ty Conley and Pine Ridge and, uh, you know, Eagle Butte. You had, you had a lot of kids over there, you know, a lot of good talent. And, and the way the games was played was really, really very good, very competitive. Yeah. Uh, they played the best of five. They went to the fifth set with the team winning by two points. So we, uh, we just, you know, I don't know. I'm very, I'm very proud and I'm grateful for everybody else too. Uh, all the other schools since I got here, you know, I've been able to interact and uh, build some relationships with other coaches and ADs, or you know, across the region, across the area, across the state. And uh, you know, they they're you know starting to they're involving us pretty good. And they're yeah. recognizing our kids' talents coming to the forefront. So that's just awesome. Good stuff. Just one one final question, Coach, before I let you go. I wanted to to ask you about the the summer conditioning and basketball programs. What what do you and, and Corey Roberts have in store for the kids this summer? And um, you know, how, how do you plan to make a successful summer for the athletes at Crazy Horse? Uh, well, right now, uh, you know, the track came about, and, and it originally started off because you know me and Mister Roberts was talking, and he was you know we were talking about a strength and conditioning program. Uh, uh, so a lot of kids started with that, you know, you go and it was five days a week, you know, different muscle groups and you add running in there as well. Uh, and then we just carried it over to track. Um, sure. And, um, so that, that, you know, that's, that's part of the plan, getting us better athlete, athletically. And then, you know, league start May 30th, uh, St. Francis is going to have one, uh, High school summer league over at St. Francis with the boys and girls. I uh, usually participate in that every year, so I plan to do that again. And they will usually go to the team camps and things like that. And uh, the girls actually, you know, over the course of two years, the, the kids, the girls, and the boys like like they do like to play. You know? yeah. So they like to. They'll tell me, "Hey, we got an independent tournament out here and there, and you know, they have somebody to take them. You know, we send them over there. You know, go compete." So we. Look to get as many games as possible in through these summer months, you know, starting end of May until August, and uh, keep working, getting better athletically. All right. Well, James, thanks for spending a minute with me today. Good luck to the uh, Crazy Horse Athletic Program.